this is me, a 15 year old broke kid with about $20 to my name. 12 months later, I built up some huge Instagram accounts and at 17 had turned those account growing skills into a decent bit of money. Actually, about $10,000 a month. Okay, maybe not $10,000 a month, maybe like $10,000 per month for two months. But like, I, I still think that counts. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I basically got into this whole situation and grew the pages and how you can make sure you never get useless Instagram followers and all the followers you get are able to be monetized so you can actually make money with them. I'm gonna skip to, I'd say, somewhere in 2019. At this point, I'm 15 and for some reason, I want to make money. I'm literally just hungry for money. My YouTube account is filled with a ton of like young kids, like 17, 18 year olds making a ton of money and making me feel like an absolute loser at life. But above making me feel like a loser, it kind of drove me, made me want to be like them, be successful. And so I started looking for ways to actually make money online. I looked at dropshipping, affiliate marketing, starting a YouTube channel, starting some Fiverr gigs. And at the time, I didn't think any of this stuff was going to work for me because I had no money, no skills, and I didn't really want to put my face on a YouTube channel at the time. But there was one business model that actually seemed quite legitimate, like that it could make me money. And that was Instagram theme pages or faceless Instagram accounts. These are accounts that curate specific videos or content around a specific niche, like basketball, gym, or motivation. You've seen these. If you have an explore page, you've definitely seen these types of accounts. Essentially, you just repost a bunch of content and you grow followers that way. And then you make money from selling shout outs on your Instagram account. And from these shout outs, you can make anywhere from like 20 to $50 on average. And so that's basically what I tried the whole of 2019. Fast forward to 2020, how much money had I made? About $50. I'd probably grown like a couple of thousand followers on some accounts and sold those accounts for like $20 each. Pretty much nothing substantial. Like to be honest, outside I'd started maybe like five Instagram accounts in the meme page and car page niche. But I'd not grown any account to over like 10,000 followers. And 10,000 followers is important because that's pretty much where you start making money from Instagram. But when I was trying to reassess like why I had not made money yet, I realized I couldn't grow these accounts because I was in a completely saturated niche, the meme niche. And essentially I was doing nothing new in that niche. I was just reposting a bunch of content. I mean, it's literally like tens of thousands of other meme accounts in the meme niche. And I was basically just doing the same thing as everyone else, which is exactly why I didn't grow. So you need to think about this. If you want to grow your own Instagram account or faceless Instagram account, you need to figure out what you're going to be offering that your competitors are not offering and that people actually want. But anyway, once I realized that I was in a completely saturated niche, I created a game plan to be in a niche that wasn't so saturated so I could be different and actually make money. And since this was around 2020, there was a show coming up. It was called The Outer Banks. Now, trust me, guys, this is really important. And this is like one principle that can make you a lot of money over the next two months. But anyway, but basically, once I saw The Outer Banks was this Netflix show that was popping up, I decided to create an Instagram account called The Outer Banks Memes. I know, that's an insanely good username. But anyway, how do we grow the account? Simple. First, we posted a ton of memes on the account. And then I did the follow for follow strategy. I basically followed a bunch of people who I thought would be interested in The Outer Banks. And once those people started following us back, our account started growing organically. We'd get like a couple of thousand followers with, with the follow for follow method. And then organically, our posts will start getting on the explore page and blowing up our account. And this is what I did. And our Outer Banks Instagram account started blowing the hell up. It started getting like tens of thousands of followers. But how did I actually make money with it? I mean, if you know anything about Instagram, just because you have followers doesn't necessarily mean you have money. Well, I decided to sell merch or clothing through the account. And the clothing was centered around the Outer Banks. I went on this website called Teespring and I basically just plugged in my terribly designed Outer Banks designs. And then I started selling those exact t-shirts on my Instagram account. And no, I didn't buy a whole bunch of inventory and stock up and sell these t-shirts. No, I used a business model known as print on demand, where essentially Teespring, the website, would only print these t-shirts and ship them out to customers as soon as they bought from my website, which looked like something like this. And that's literally it. And that's how I was selling t-shirts centered around the outer banks. I know these t-shirts are absolute garbage, but like, what did you expect out of a 16, 17 year old kid? Who basically was just trying to make a quick buck on the internet. But anyway, this business idea actually worked. And I took it and I started replicating it a bunch of different times. I created Instagram accounts centered around outer banks, sold t-shirts around the outer banks, created Instagram accounts centered around money heist, sold t-shirts around money heist. And then I created Instagram accounts around squid games and sold t-shirts around squid games. And remember guys, I was making terrible designs. Like, look at these things. These are terrible designs that I thought were good designs at the time. If I just went to Fiverr and paid someone $5 to create some decent design, I could have made a lot more money selling these t-shirts, but we ended up making about $5,000 from all of this, with about $10 in profit per t-shirt sold. So we sold about 500 t-shirts with some Instagram followers, which I think was actually quite decent. But again, that's when I realized another very important principle when it comes to Instagram accounts or Instagram theme pages, and that is the riches are in the niches. You might be able to grow an Instagram account in a random niche, like basketball or gym, but you won't be able to actually make money with those Instagram accounts. In order for you to make money, you need to niche down even further. So instead of basketball, go for basketball bets. Or instead of gym, go for reposting Sam Sule clips. You must get so specific that you know exactly what type of person you have, and then you can actually sell them a real product they could actually buy. But anyway, at this point, I got tired of growing Instagram accounts around TV shows and then trying to make money through that. So I decided to hop into another niche. And this was the greatest decision I had made as a 16 year old and what actually led to me making $10,000 per month. Okay, like I said, not $10,000 per month, but you know, you get it. I'm just gonna stick with that. For this, you need to fast forward to around 2021 and 2022. This is when NFTs 
and cryptocurrencies are starting to blow up. Basically, Bitcoin is hitting like $60,000 a coin. And guys, let me tell you something. I know nothing about cryptocurrency. I know nothing about NFT. At the time, I knew nothing. I still barely know what an NFT is. But I knew and had one skill. And that was growing Instagram theme pages or Instagram accounts. And so what did I do? What I know how to do? Grow an Instagram account in the NFT and crypto space. And this is the money maker. How did I grow the account? Simple and so simple, you won't even believe me. I literally uploaded about 20 videos or 20 pictures around the crypto space and around the NFT space. Then I found another account with about 4,000 followers also in the crypto and NFT space. And then I would just do the follow for follow strategy. And then some of the people who I followed would actually follow us back. Essentially the follow for follow strategy. And I have a video, pretty old, but it's, it's a decent video that shows you exactly what the follow for follow strategy is and how you can actually gain follows from it. But essentially, if you follow about 2,000 people, you should get about 1,000 people to follow you back. Essentially, I followed about 7,500 people and we got about 3,000 followers on the account. And that's how we built our first bit of following on the crypto page. Now those 3,000 followers started liking my content, copying, commenting on the content, sharing, and just basically organically growing our account. And then our crypto account started blowing the hell up. And essentially, that's how you grow on Instagram. Anyone who tells you anything else is just lying or they just are confused. But like I said, our account started blowing up, going from 10 to 50 to 100,000 followers in the crypto space. And at first, I was trying to monetize this by doing what I knew how to do, selling crypto t-shirts. Start selling like funny t-shirts around the crypto niche. And I was doing this for way too long, for like so many months, until I checked my DMs. And I realized that there were NFT projects or crypto tokens that were actually wanting to pay me for promotion. Now, when they did this, I was used to getting paid about $50 per promotion, so I didn't pay much attention until one NFT project said they were gonna pay me $1,000 for promotion. And once I realized that, I realized I should stop this t-shirt business that was absolutely going nowhere. And that the money wasn't promoting these NFT or crypto projects. And literally, that's when we started printing cash. I was literally making like $10,000 per month doing this method. And I tried to milk it as much as I possibly could. But why did it fail? Why did it stop? Simple. Crypto died. 2022 and 2023 were the worst years for crypto. Crypto, Bitcoin was like at like $20,000 a coin. Like basically all my followers just went away and they got tired of just being shilled terrible coins. But anyway, the death of crypto meant the death of that Instagram account. But if you've been paying any bit of attention, then you know that crypto and the crypto space is coming back to life. I mean, Bitcoin literally just hit $70,000 per coin like last month. And if you are another 15 year old kid who has no skills, no money, and doesn't want to put your face on YouTube, literally start an Instagram account in the crypto and NFT niche. And in the next two months when crypto or Bitcoin absolutely starts blowing up, you'll have a 50, 100,000 follower account that will actually make you 10K per month. And it's the thing, I'm not a guru telling you to do something that I have never done before. I did this and it made me money. And I'm telling you that if you do this, it should make you money. But anyway, if you guys want to see me talk about other ways that I have made, well, there's not really many other ways, but if you want to see me talk about other ways that I'm going to try to make money online, then, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. What the hell? Subscribe. Peace.